Tell you what, that pat, she's tough. Oh yeah. That's a tough workout. I'd much rather be in here eating yes. with Charles Brown for Frankie's. And Charles, we're making a flatbread sandwich, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, got... where are we in our recipe? Well, we've got, I've got the flatbread done over here. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of finishing up for the sandwich, but we can go over how I got there. Okay. okay. While this is finishing up, I just want to go ahead and get a couple finishing pieces on there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, that looks good. Well, it looks delicious. It does. What do you have there? Uh, the caramelized onions. And then, so basically I uh, spread the uh, roasted red pepper aioli over it, the caramelized onions and the arugula. Uh -huh. I just need and to now what we're going to do is just fold it over mm. and let it finish off. Yes. Okay, so when we left off, we had our bread was our, in a bowl. Our dough was in a dough. bowl and rising. Got um, it. So what I did, I took it out and I cut it in half and just lightly floured it. And if you've ever made a pizza dough, this is actually remarkably similar. Okay. Um, we're going to fry it rather than bake it. But so we have our dough, and then you just start in the center, and you just work it out to your desired. Okay. So it's know, exactly to, the same as like a pizza. It pretty much, it really absolutely is. You mm -hmm. can see I'm already forming a little hole there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I, <laughs> did, I did well with the first it. one, you know. <laughs> so once you get really to the size that you want, mm -hmm. that's where we'll take it out. We'll get our sandwich out of out of our pan real quick. Okay. Ooh, that looks that so does good. look good. All you want to do is just have a just a pinch of oil. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that oil will go a long way once it gets heated up. Yeah, you didn't use much. No, no. you really don't need a whole okay. lot. That's always my biggest thing. Is I feel like it's a big misconception with people that you need a lot of oil for anything. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. it goes so far. Yeah. So then we're just going to put it in there, spread it out. And how long does it usually take? Less than five minutes in the pan. All right. You really want to, you, pretty much you want it on medium heat. Um, you just want to let it get browned up, flip mm -hmm. it over a couple times so you get to the desired, uh, you know, the desired doneness that you want. Some yeah. people like it extra crispy. <laughs> Some people like a little bit more doughy. Um, do, do you think that homemade bread is, is better than if you... Uh, well, I absolutely do. We make our bread. Yeah. We make our bread in house every day, okay. um, and I just, you know, it's mm -hmm. it's always just so very good, in my opinion. Yeah, I um, snuck a little spoonful of that because that looks so good, and it is amazing. It's so we saw the burger, but what else is on the the? Mm. Um, we have several salads where we have a black and blue ribeye salad that I believe I've done here too. Um, we okay. have a seafood cob that is butter poached lobster. Um, jumbo lump crab and just on a traditional cob with bacon and avocado, boiled egg. Um, and then we have um, a crab cake BLT, a fried Ooh, green tomato BLT. Okay. Um, and then we're also offering several several chicken features where we have a, uh, a fried chicken salad and okay. and. Um, so stop on by yes. Frankie Rollins for lunch. Oh my gosh, this, this is, is so really good. good. You're, you're right. The bread does make a that difference. That bread oh, absolutely. is yeah. delicious. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the recipe too. And we are offering the recipe on our website at daytimebluridge.com. We appreciate you stopping by. Absolutely, of yeah. course.